Greetings, my friends. This world can make you so weary, man. It can make you, it can make a Christian feel so out of sorts and so tired. Um, it's been 15 years now since I've been on social media doing this stuff. And every day, I think every single day, I don't think I've missed a day, of, I've put word out for God, all for him and all for his glory. And um, I'm tired. And I'm tired of seeing the ugly world we live in. And it's sad. It's heartbreaking. But we need to understand that Christ is going to take us out of here soon. We need to be strong and focused and stay close to him. The clock is ticking, the new headline says. The countdown to conflict between Iran and Israel is very near. The clock has been ticking for a long time. And now Israel's telling us that Iran is only a few weeks away from acquiring weapons-grade materials necessary for a nuclear weapon. The Israelis have always been very clear about the fact they will never ever, 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 ever allow the Iranians to get to that point. And so that would appear to leave only less than 10 weeks remaining to avert a major war in the Middle East. <coughs> we know Iran's involved in the Gog Magog war with Russia and Turkey. <coughs> when they try to take Israel and destroy and drive her to the sea and Israel is by herself now. Uh, she doesn't have a kind administration here in this country, a kind friend. Uh, she's been ostracized. She's been isolated. But the Bible says that would happen. And it's just amazing how the Bible is always 100% correct. It's never wrong. It's always right. And Israel stands alone except for God. And that's all that matters. I pray for Israel every day. I know many of you do. And it's it's just really, really sad to see how she's been left alone. And it's amazing to me to see, again, how fast this end time prophecies everywhere are being fulfilled. And there's war coming. Psalm 83 war uh, with Israel's neighbors. The Isaiah 17 prophecy with Syria. Uh, Damascus, the oldest inhabited uh, city in, in the world, never been, never been destroyed. It's coming soon. And uh, all this stuff means the rapture is upon us. These things are all right on the fringe of the rapture. And all the signs of the rapture are here. I know it's like a broken record, but I, I, I keep telling you the, the truth and the word because we have to get it out. have to be reminded. And uh, the Lord lays things in my heart and I share it. That's how it works. And uh, it's just amazing again how fast things are happening. And we need to always be sure as Christians that we keep our own hearts in order, examine our own lives, keep our own vessels filled with oil like the, like the wise versions and uh which is the holy spirit is the oil by the way and just make sure we repent of our sins after we're saved and make sure we're out there witnessing and praying for the lost and make sure that we are not getting tied up in the cares of this world and focus on jesus christ and focus on heaven and eternity because soon all this nightmares scenarios we've been experiencing will be just <clears throat> a, a a bad dream it'll be gone and we'll be jesus christ praise the lord and all of our family and friends and new friends that, that are there. And um, I can't wait. And I many of you can't either. If you've never been saved, you're backslid and pray the prayer. Do the six steps in the box, put a video. No one's guaranteed any more time in your life. If you'd like prayer, contact me. I'll pray for you every day. I love you all so much. Everyone who's part of my of my ministries, I thank God for you. And look up, true Christians, our redemption draweth nigh to the fly. Same. God bless you. Again, if you need prayer, request it. Social media won't let me answer your request, but believe me, I see them. And I pray for you every day. Help me get the word out. Help me share my videos. I'm always censored because of my faith in Jesus Christ. I love you. Take care and share. Bye.